you know, and do you ever have that feeling where it's not even a thing where I made it about me? No, you made it about me. You made it about me when you, when, when, when I realized that many energies were against me, not even just within the community, right? Amongst family. God bringing forces, trusted sources, or energies. You know, and again, It's, it's like that point where because people are throwing dirt on you in your name, in your image, do you just sit there quietly? No, do you? Do you just sit there quietly and just stop breathing and just wait? Not speak your peace, disappear in the night? I was just watching The Lion King, the movie from like two years ago today. And it's very prophetic. I had never watched it before and I watched it today. It's very prophetic. And it directly after that, I ran into these energies of those hyenas, of Scar. And I realized, wait a minute. Like we talked about earlier, this is a family dynamic, right? It also has to do with different families, right? We were talking about those lions. And I found it interesting when he said that when they die, the gazelles come and eat, the, they turn into the grass. And we were just talking about that in song. And then the gazelles come and eat the grass. And it's almost like the the nothing still running through, right? From the never ending story, favorite movie ever. <laughs> and now I'm like in that energy. So it's kind of like, wow. So yeah, okay, I was interrupted. <laughs> so again, it's like when it comes to principalities and rulers and things like that, you know, it feels almost like the whole thing when, uh, you know, uh, uh, Scar had uh, killed Mufasa, right? And then, um, and ran Simba off. And he had to take a moment found some new friends, right? Because he didn't fit in with the other groups, the other cubs, the other little gods. They just, you know, because of his light. I mean, he didn't choose it, right? He looked like he was even younger than all the other cubs, <laughs> right? Because again, you know, spiritually, a lot of us are in our youth. And some, again, of us are not. Okay, again, interrupted. So, so again, and then, you know, it's just like, <clears throat> again, having a voice in certain experiences in this realm and in the spiritual realm is like, you know, I'm sure these women didn't want these type of circumstances. It's like, you know, and again, like you, you have a lot of like um, energy around these stories of love and war, you know, guns and roses. And again, a lot of it sometimes were out of their hands, right? Or in defiance to something that was being planned or without their, you know, where they didn't have a choice, right? 
And so again, this is a, another thing. That energy of, you know, that spirit, you know, as long as the spirit of a warrior lives in the heart of even just one of us, the dance is not over. So again, a lot of individuals, again, I feel have been compromised, whether they know it or not. There's a compromising energy, right? It doesn't even have to be direct. And like I said, usually it has to do with, like it always does, power, land, resources, women, children, right? Because once you conquer, again, in a society like this, I know it seems to be getting somewhat better, right? But, you know, usually who's left then to protect the children? You know? I feel like... Because again, you know, interrupted again. I mean, it's something, y'all. <laughs> so, like just in that energy of how we already know these things about how families are separated, how you know groups are divided and things like that. And so it's so funny to see this energy, but it's really not even as a whole, you know, it's just to cut out certain you know individuals. I'm seeing, you know, it's 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 not just me, right? I know this has to be happening to many, you know. Unfortunately, some may not even be here anymore to tell their stories. because we're not realizing that it's deeper than it is. And then some, some and, and that makes me think, do some people, they, they have to know that it is. But again, as long as they have a piece of the pie or think they have a piece of that pie, well, right? As long as they have the upper hand of being a part of the secret club, right? They have the, they have their ears and their eyes on you and your bit, so it's, again, it's like, no, you made it about me when I feel like I have to then speak my piece. <laughs> and then, it, you know, if it was just a small thing, right? It was just like, okay, somebody's saying something. You know, I don't give a damn about nobody saying Nothing nobody say on this plane. And this is why I feel like some of us were chosen for these tasks. Because it just doesn't work. I'm still going to be myself, my positive self, seeking and sharing. Whether it be vocally or other ways. I'm going to nurture that. Always. Okay, again. <laughs> so, like I said, I look at it as if I'm an American empress in my warrior king energy in the spiritual war, right? And I like that part when, um, and again, I'm gonna always honor the ancestors and the Elohim, right? And I have the right to be able to speak my peace and protect my family just like you do. And I have to worry about some people with some kind of ulterior motive coming at me, right? Because yes, I can sense the energy
but it won't change me. Not in a way where I just go away and disappear. Or anybody think that they can have me do so. Because we all have a place. Those of you who know you, who you are. So again, you don't have to like me, right? But in, in order for me to continue sharing my energy with anyone, you're going to have to respect me. You know, I like that part of the movie because it, you know, a lot of things biblical came up to my mind throughout that movie. And um, again, one thing was when uh, Simba came and did his roar, which I feel like was a speech, and it reminded me of Martin Luther King, right? Even a Farrakhan, you know, remind me of, you know, that energy. And I thought, you know, like when he said, you are the one true king, remember who you are. And when, when they, um, came and he went up on the pride rock and it was that instance when all of the animals came around and it was it made me think of every knee shall bow right so although I'm not in that energy I'm saying <laughs> that's what it's going to be for anyone that's like in my energy field. I mean, anybody outside of it, I really don't care, <laughs> right? Anybody outside of it in this hating or sending some kind of energy, it doesn't affect me. It shows your weakness. It shows your fear. It shows your heart and your agenda. I always say we can agree to disagree. Because <laughs> I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. So I would figure that people that deal with me would be the only ones that would be coming to see. But that's not a reality, is it? You have people, actually, yes, that will try and harness your energy. And if it weren't for, again, the Elohim, the guides, angels, and all of the energies, the positive forces that are working with us, if that kingdom was not here or passing by. <laughs> and so, again, I just it's just a thing where I'm, I feel like, man, um, and I think the part when he said, you know, with a king or whatever, it's like, um, I don't know how he said it, but um, the, the reign of a king rises and goes down. And almost like he was, you know, like almost in that energy, like we were talking about earlier, like I bet how many of, how many of us have been in a, have been reigning, but you haven't really been reigning. So even I was just thinking about that thing, like that energy, like <clears throat> as above and so below. Because, again, everything that is exalted is not for your, in your best interest. And everything that is, again, at your same level is not. There's going to be hate in that energy 
coming from both sides. And so that's what also gives me that levitated kind of feeling sometimes where you, you, you know, you've, you've gone too far to come, you know, to go back, right? But you're high enough where it's just like, you know, so again, at some point in time, they don't want to see you coming back, right? Like you can't go back to your old neighborhood just because you decided to relocate, right? And so again, that fall from grace or that fall from heaven or just even that expansion, right? And they see you coming. Some of them don't want to see you coming. <laughs> some of them don't want to see, you know, some are with open arms and some of them don't want to see you coming. And it's all like prejudice, isn't it? Sometimes. Not forgiving if someone was upset with you about something or, you know, it's always something silly. And it leads to the fall of nations all the time, century after century, time after time. And it's like, we can't get it right. We've been sitting here all these years talking about all these things and we can't get it right. People think it's normal some of the things that they do behind closed doors that's exposed. That they use in a negative light, right? Because again, sometimes, yes, there's assistance that you need to let in. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's like the whole time you, you come in like, you know, your light is bright, you come in without those wounds, then you go through that spiritual part of it and that, <laughs> and everything changes, molding and shaping you to be who you are to be. And people see that transformation. And then some wonder why this person is still kicking and moving, and some is just like, well, hey, okay, well, you know, damn, I had to give it to him, you know, or her. <laughs> And then there's some that's just so upset and then they want to redirect that energy towards you as if it's you that's sending that energy out and it's most of the time not. <laughs> so again, I do feel a shift and I feel like a lot of things are going on. A lot of things are going on. So again, just uh, being vigilant and preparedness You know, you want to be like, right? I mean, but even in the biblical text, it's like, dude, they say peace, peace when they know it's not. So it's just like, shh, shh, and they know it's not. And again, a lot of it, yes, there are some people that are in their youth when it comes to this uh, spirituality, okay? You know, or even in their mindset, right? But then that also means that there's no guidance. And if there's no proper guidance and someone is full of potential or that light, then what does that say about those that are closest to them? And when you go through that rites of passage, could we say, and it's that lonely place that place where you got to use all your senses or sensors to get walk through that valley right and get to the other side and you have to fight all those monsters and some of them you didn't realize and recognize that they're the people closest to you and that again <laughs> so again there's turmoil there's trials and tribulations But it's up to you to decide if you want to let that darkness, because it does come, seep in and steal your soul. Or do you want to go ahead and take that energy and transfer it into something that is of a brighter light? That rainbow aura 
effect, whether there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or not. And again, <clears throat> we have a lot of those uh, surface dwelling um, leaders there that don't reach deep down in to the pits. They don't get it out the mud. Right, And so what they do is beneficial sometimes as well, but it can also leave you in that state when you're dealing with fear and emotions or just envy and those things. And now I see why those things are used so much in the biblical text because it can get ugly. You hear me? <laughs> Especially when you're dealing with multitudes and masses of people. And you can see the transformation and you can see these things attached. But again, we are not alone. And again, I think there's more people out there <laughs> that are supportive, right? than, again, you or I think that are going to do the right thing at the end of the day. You know? Because I don't know if I made a point even about that whole thing with the children because, again, the breaking up of the family, and, again, we already see that there's a problem uh, with the amount of men that are locked up or incarcerated right in those uh, uh, urban communities right um, and then you see the amount of men that walk away and and, and, and you know <laughs> and then you have certain individuals that again would speak horribly about the women that stay there and have to raise those children the best way that they can on their own, sometimes without lack of support. So hopefully there's something positive that comes out of that matter at the end of the day. Because she will be there. Just like we talk about, we go back and forth, oh, well, the black man and the black woman or whatever deal with this, the so-called, okay? or origin or original right but again it takes two to tango <laughs> throughout the whole thing it takes two to be attracted takes two to do the thing it takes two and sometimes it end up being one by the time she's in the delivery room and thereafter which is sad But again, I'm noticing that <clears throat> there's a lot of strife and a lot of negative things that, again, are being, it's like we, we fell back off, right? And again, maybe it's just, again, the way that I see it from the outside looking in. Because people think that they've built these uh, tumults and, you know, these crafty councils. these riots to come against people that are actually doing their part. It may not be the same part that you have. It may not be that same thing, right? To each his own. Everyone has a different way of expressing themselves.
and there's nobody here that can tell you that your way is the wrong way or that you knew you need to do it this way or that way to demand you to do it a certain way what <laughs> are you serious hmm and then I ask those people, are you doing it from the heart when you do it, or is it just for views? Because how can you do that genuinely? And then go on doing the ugly things that they do behind closed doors. <laughs> And it usually has some mess to do with, again, something simple like relationships or, you know, companionships or, you know, even being, uh, you know how some guys are, and this could be any guy, when a woman um, doesn't want to participate. They don't even have to do what they used to do and ah, oh, forget you then, fuck you then. You know, they don't even have to do that no more. It's gone to another extent. They'll get other angry birds and I'll call them that if they choose to take flight. They'll even get their guy friends, right? to jump on the bandwagon. So again, it's just whatever. Maybe everybody doesn't feel this way, but I just feel like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> With or without, right? I'm good. obviously there's there's something else that's eating at some of these groups and masses of individuals when it comes to those that are trying to right just do their own thing right but there is a hand here it's a hand and it really wants to have a grips around again sometimes your neck <laughs> but also around your um, your mental again Distractions, right? They come in all shapes, sizes, and forms, fashions. And then also, you know, we have to worry about not just cyberbullying, right? Not just, you know, invasion of privacy, you know, um, but also like So anyhow, I think that's it. I think that's it. You know, I think that's it. I just feel like it's just so scary when you don't hear people. You know, we talk, we hear, we don't hear people talking about. And I'll say this last thing because I was gonna say something I forgot what it was. But this last thing about children, we don't hear people particularly talking about children. We hear them talking about the youth, right? Teenagers and young adults that are into, uh, get caught up in mischief. Sometimes, again, it's not even their own fault and they get caught up in the streets. But we have children and infants and babies that are not on the streets. They're in the house and around the house. And I never hear people talk about them. Or share information about that. And some people think they know you, right? And they'll talk about, you know, how you do and what you do with your child. Knowing good and well their child, they probably have their own issues with their own children. But you never see us as a collective talking about those small children. 
and let unless it's about bad behavior or something like that and again nobody's talking about talk about your personal <laughs> stuff with your children but i'm just saying i just that's just something i just pay attention to little things like that but we say we care I don't, like a lot of these again leaders again so-called leaders, you know, I don't even hear them pressing the issue and going deep in on these situations. It's just, like I said, that surface talk that gets you riled up and gets you talking about something. But again, there's no change. And, 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 and I was going to say action, but action doesn't always have to be something that you're doing all out and around. Some, a lot of us are in that I'm not just anybody energy because you know and you see what's going on. And you're not going to be somebody that builds with everybody. You might be a loner. You might just be unique. You might just be different, right? And so that's what I meant when I did that video yesterday on um, IG and I said that nobody can deliver it. My message the way that I can not a message, right? Not the message, but mine. Their delivery might be a little bit more extravagant. Oh, well, <laughs> I do things the way that I want to do them. It's just the way I am. And again, I think that that's why some of us were chosen and set apart and groomed and altered. So, I just want to say be okay with being <laughs> that being. No matter who has something to say about it. Because they are not you at the end of the day. And I expect you to do what you do great and you should be okay with me doing what I do great. Lee. <laughs> and then usually when it comes to building, people realize and recognize what everybody brings to the table and then they add it all up and they, it's like a basket, they share. and they put each other on. They don't sit there and just mock. Maybe some, again, like I said, that's why I like to share a lot of information because some people don't know. But, those, but, but again, these people will sit there and talk about what you don't know, right? Or that what you're not doing, being very clear. So that's taunting. That's not really offering assistance. And again, some of us like to do things on our own. We don't want no assistance. So again, unless it's right, I'll say that, unless it's right and correct and good natured, or even if it's constructive criticism, always welcome to me. I do it to myself all the time to assist in my growth and development on this journey. So, again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you guys soon. Um, again, let me know what you think about the videos lately. <laughs> I'm just in that zone, and again, just that creative, artistic way of looking at things. I just, just put it out there, <laughs> you know? So, again, um, I will see you guys soon. Uh, Take care.